Hello YouTube. I'm back and I've always been trying to come back. But last year as we all know has been all over the place. Um I'm a little more stable now in a way, but not a hundred percent because I'm just starting these new adventures. Um and I'm um, but Happy New Year, and Happy Kwanzaa, and Happy New, uh, you know, life journey for many of us nowadays. I really wanted to come here, um, and it's only the 6th of January, but there was a small self-reflection that I have made um, when it comes to life, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to family. And I wanted to share this with you guys for the sheer fact that it's something that we should think about when we are going for our goals, when we are setting goals for ourselves, when we have reached a certain level of achievement, and just as an everyday lesson. The lesson is money has no friends. Money does not choose who it wants to live right by, who it does not want to live right by. Money is its own entity in itself. So when we choose to set goals for ourselves monetarily, set goals for friendship, set goals on our children, set goals for anything in life, Money is always involved because you set goals for yourself to cost money to get these goals accomplished. You set goals for your children, most time you can need to spend some money to help them achieve that goal. You set goals for friendships and family. Money, money is involved no matter what. So remember, you may share your dreams with someone and you start to thrive in life, and you start to make money. Remember, money has no friendship. It may sound harsh, but I think this will help you for the, for the rest of your life in 2021 and for the rest of your life. You may see a friend thriving in life, and you may want to get some information from them. Remember, this may be if their mindset is that way, is functioned or is wired in that way, they're going to think about their money. Okay, if I help this person become this, then, okay, their money might be, may, may be affected. But those who are smart enough, they know whatever you put out in this world is what you get back. If you're greedy with your money and you don't like to see other people succeed because you're scared that they might take some of your money, guess what? Money will run from you. Money comes to those with good intentions, those who work hard for the money, those who are purposeful with where their funds are going. That's what I mean. Like, this is what I'm saying when I say money has no friends. The rich become poor, poor become rich. All of it is just due to money. You know, if if someone that was a billionaire knew ten years from now they're gonna be rich, I can guarantee you the way they take their money will be completely different. So just keep that in mind. You know, we're all this year everybody's focused on making more money, being purposeful with money, we have stimulus checks coming out, we have unemployment coming out. People are being bombarded with funds and money. Just remember to be intent with your funds, how you spend it, so it can continue to come to you, okay? I will be intent with my funds from here on out. I can say I was not, but at the same time I was. I'm not working, but I was intent last year to where I'm able to pay my bills with what I had, or I would have been in trouble. But the Lord above blessed me, and I know he's going to continue continue blessing me moving forward so I can bless others. You know, you cannot be greedy. The same way money comes as quick as it comes is as quick as many people are going to be spending it. So let's be intense and let's be purposeful and how right how we spend our funds. Right? 
them down in a journal for bills you need to pay, for projects you need to do. Be intent with these, with these funds so at the end of the year you still have money, you know? If you still have money. We often stress ourselves because we, we fail to plan. And many of the times it's because of poor money management. So that's just my 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 reflection that I've had so far. Twenty six days into twenty twenty. And I think it's very important that we all be very mindful on how we can on this, okay? Um I have more videos coming out. I think I'm gonna do a nice shift this year on how my YouTube channel will be going uh, moving forward. I know the Lord will bless me. I know the Lord will bless me and give me good health so I can continue running and pushing through um, with this YouTube channel. I'm going to be intense and be focused this year with this YouTube channel. Because I do believe um, I'll put the energy out there and do something very monumental for many people in this world. So, I hope everyone has a beautiful year. Don't forget to write your goals down for this year. Your goals for, for traveling, your money, your family goals, your personal goals, your business goals, any goal that you know that you want to reach, your physical goals. I already lost 10 pounds. I started from last year um, in November. So, I think, you know, just be more focused this year. If you're not focused, Go to, go to GMT, go somewhere else, you know, and get some focus too. Take them in the morning so you know that your day has a purpose. Every day should have a purpose for you as an individual, okay? I got nail, green nail polish because I claim it this year will be a money year. And I'm not playing, okay? So, leave a comment. If you have any goals that you want to share with anyone to inspire someone else, leave it down there. And... I will see you guys on my next video. Love you all. Have a beautiful year. Have a blessed week.